It's so creepy. I've always thought that having an underbite looks way more aggressive than the overbite, don't you think? Like Versus? Yeah. <laughs> like there? Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Clarissa. And I'm Brandon. <laughs> We're both Taiwanese American and enjoy spending time in the kitchen. In this show, I'll be making a traditional rendition of a classic Taiwanese dish. And I'll be putting on a twist. We might encounter mishaps and mistakes along the way. But at the end of the day, we make delicious food. <laughs> so, hey, so for today's episode, we are making scallion pancakes. What do you know about scallion pancakes? It's fluffy, it's like a paratha. A paratha is like a, the Indian version, I suppose. There's many layers, um, and they're very fragrant. Yeah. Nice, yummy street food, quintessential Taiwanese street food. Yeah, so scallion pancakes were introduced in Taiwan after the 1950s when the Chinese refugees came here. So it's quite new. It's only been in Taiwan for about 70 years. You ready? Yeah, once, once I, I need it. It's bothering me a little bit. A lot of construction. There's jackhammers. There's what do you call these things? <laughs> Wa two Wa G's. You know those Wa two G's. Those excavators. All that action. Just all right, a let's lot. let's make our pancake. Okay, so we're gonna take all-purpose flour and put it in. Don't use the whisk though. We're gonna add hot water in, and this is a technique that they use in Asia to make soft dough. So it's called a hot water dough. You can also just do it with cold water, um, but it won't make it as like soft and tender. And then we're gonna add in the room temperature water. How are you doing, Brandon? Did you do this? What happened do I, here? I don't know. I there's someone came in and they threw flour over everything. I kind of shoved okay. them away. But yeah, I think one of the cameramen wasn't paid on time or something. Yeah. And that's your basic scallion pancake dough. How does it feel? It's interesting. It's a uh, kind of clumpy. So you know when it's done when there is no more dough on your hand and this whole thing is clean. So your goal is to make this as shiny as possible. Is so there I just any make them neat the technique? whole time. No, you just keep on. I mean, you can pop it in a stand mixer if you have it at home. It's a nice close-up on your arm. Yeah, some little chunks. Yeah, what's up with your outfit today, Brandon? Well, I thought, you know, since people were in your DMs talking about me, I figured I'd let them see a little song. Oh yeah, people slide in my DMs <laughs> and they're like, he's so cute. And I don't even post a photo of you. I just tag you. It was my cooking that did it all. They saw the way I plated who... and they were like, He's cute. They don't. They don't know who you are, <laughs> who like what dish you made and what dish I made. They don't need to. They saw. <laughs> so while he's doing this, which is going to take a while, I'm going to cut the scallions. And the reason why I'm doing it early, thanks for getting dough all over it, is because I want it to air dry. If you get two soggy scallions into your scallion pancake, you're going to get a soggy pancake, which is not what anyone wants. Yeah, are there regional differences between scallion pancakes? I feel like if you're in more rural areas, they just overload it with scallion. I mean, uh, I think it's not regional per se versus like fami like family differences. It just okay. depends on okay. how you do it. And there's like an infinite amount of techniques. Um, but this dish is really common in Northern China where dough is a staple. And it like came to Taiwan with the immigrants. Wait, what, your Chinese grandpa, like where is he from? Anhui. Okay. It's like southish. Did you um, inherit any recipes from him? There's a ton, but my dad has them. I haven't really cooked any of his recipes yet. He has an entire notebook of- What type of food was it? Like, have you like- Yeah, like, um, That's what like is that? Fried bean, uh, minced bean, soybean paste. Yeah. With, uh, on top of cod. Cool. Bass, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, we're good, we're good. You can, you can just make it into a- <laughs> we can just make it into a ball. We'll put plastic wrap over it um, for 10 minutes until it gets all soft and nice. Okay, what are what is all of this? What is your what is your remix on a traditional scallion pancake? I'm making a garlic rosemary scallion pancake, but for the filling, I'm actually gonna have a lemon chicken. It's gonna be a okay. Chinese style lemon chicken. But there's no scallion in your pancake. None. 
Chris, I was not a scallion pancake. Not a traditional scallion pancake. Okay. So I use rosemary and garlic to replace that part. Okay. And then on the inside, lemon chicken. And originally I was gonna go with like a Western style lemon chicken, but I thought that it wasn't saucy enough. I wanted something to really give a pop. So is this an Asian style sauce. lemon chicken? Yes, it's an Asian style lemon chicken. Right here, we have our cornstarch. This is just a softener for mm. meat, garlic powder. We have soy sauce and Shaoxing wine. Oh, Shaoxing wine, cool. Yeah, Shaoxing. I'm gonna have you cut these into cubes. Okay. Um, how did you come up with this recipe? Originally, the recipe calls for the chicken to be fried with a lot of cornstarch. Yeah. I just stir fry the chicken. Yeah, I didn't want to add all that grease yeah. and oil. Like, it's already greasy enough. The scallion pancakes are pretty dense in terms of just the fat content. Yeah. What about you? How did you think of scallion pancakes? <laughs> Why this recipe as opposed to another one? That's true. Okay, so you know if you go to Taipei and you go to Yongkang Jie. Yes. That, that's yeah, true. there's that like Tianjin style scallion pancake. Yeah. They like put cheese and like ham yeah. and like a sauce in it. So yeah. I'm doing a rip on that. This technique is like based on, I was interviewing like a 90 year old veteran who came from Northern China. And this is kind of like based on his technique. A veteran of what? A veteran of war. Of war? Okay. I don't know, maybe war. he's a veteran Tong Yoping maker. Like, That's a talent. We're not talking about war here, we're talking about food. So here, these are the various components of the lemon sauce. It'll be a lemon sauce thickened with cornstarch and then incorporated with the chicken. I'm gonna toss it with the chicken. It's just gonna glaze the chicken. Here we have soy sauce, mm -hmm. a little salt, honey for the sugar. Sugar for the sugar, <laughs> sesame, ginger, lemon, and this is the oil. This is our cornstarch slurry that we'll add at the very end to get it thickened. Why do you have honey and sugar? Honey has a little more flavor than just plain white sugar. Fair enough. So I'm gonna have you cut these lemons and juice them. Okay. Brandon, you just put everything in without letting the camera eat. Oh Lord. The camera's gotta keep up. Okay, now I'm gonna add the lemon juice. There's still a little honey in there. No waste. And it reminds always... me of American Chinese cooking, you know? Because this yeah. is not a Taiwanese traditional Yeah, thing. yeah, so it's sweet and savory. Yeah. Alrighty, that's about good. It's clean up time. My lower school teacher had this tape that she recorded, a song she oh. recorded herself, and it goes, let's clean up. Let's clean up. Because <laughs> she was so tired of saying, I'm tired of asking you guys to clean up after yourself. She said it like that? Yep. I translated it for you, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. In Chinese, it was like, <laughs> Okay, so the sauce in a scallion pancake, what's in it? It's that, like, soy paste, right? Yeah, so you can buy soy paste at any grocery store in Asian grocery store in America or in Taiwan, but we're gonna make our soy paste ourselves today. Really? Zhang you gao. Yeah, we're making wow. zhang you gao. Okay, this is the only thing in zhang you gao, which sugar. is sugar, soy sauce, and glutinous rice as the thickener. In the north, we'll put in licorice powder, but we're not gonna do that because I'm from the south where they don't put anything in. Now be careful, that's an induction I didn't so turn it on fast. yet. <laughs> a lot of the brands will add like cornstarch and other starches to make it shelf stable. But this is traditional, so you kind of get this like more milky color versus like your sauce, which is more clear. So that's it. Doesn't this look like a street food vendor? Zhang you gao. Cool. Okay. I'm happy. Okay, we're gonna divide it in half. Let's weigh it first though. Four. So I am gonna roll this out into a thin sheet, and then we're gonna put our lard through over. Oh, and scallions. This is a nice dough, I'm proud of you. It's very smooth. Thank you. I had combined lard and salt together because lard is the traditional oil of choice in Taiwan, and I've interviewed old people, and they're like, this is not a scallion pancake without lard. Like, you're not even making a real scallion pancake. Could you <clears throat> brush this for me? What will you be doing? I'll show you. <laughs> this is our scallions that have been air dried for 30 minutes, so they're not like soggy. Okay, that's good. So then we sprinkle little scallions. The reason why, I, I know it's tempting to put all of this on, but you don't want breakage. Like if you put too much, it's just gonna break. Then how do they get those scallion pancakes that are so thick and stuffed with scallions? I don't know. Can you show me a picture? <laughs> I have to drive you out to Elon. So the way I do it is, we're going to tuck it in. You can help me do this side. Tuck it in, and then we're gonna roll it down 
And what we're doing now is to try to get those layers. Okay. And then this is what the 90 year old grandpa told me, the veteran, not the Italian pancake veteran, war veteran. <laughs> you twist it like this and then you fold it like this. And then you can go all the way or you can do this. That is, okay, so see, it's kind of tough now because yeah. we've worked it too much. So while you do yours, I'm just gonna let mine rest to the side. So the more it rests, it'll relax. Exactly. Okay. Hey, chill out, buddy. Okay. I use my microwave. Intermission. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> How'd you get yours so nice and square? Mine looks like a... You just have to, I don't know, work at it, pull it. You also want to like lift it up occasionally to make sure it doesn't stick, yeah. Oh, I see. Remember to speak up so you can... <laughs> I'll remember to speak up. Yeah, so next I'm just gonna try to get it nice and square. <laughs> you can also like rotate this knot here. It's almost like table manners. You know how you don't, you rotate the plate to cut steak? You don't rotate your hands. Oh, I didn't know that. And I just get whooped if I didn't do that. When I was doing recipe testing for my cookbook, I realized that American flour and Taiwanese flour are not analogous. Like, have you ever tried making pastries, but you use an American recipe using Taiwanese flour? It always came out a little bit funky. That happens quite a bit. Yeah. Well, yeah, what? Really? Yeah, it's because how it's milled here is completely different. So most of the flour imported in from Taiwan is American, but the way they mill the flour is completely different. That like explains why all of my cookies are not flattening. <laughs> spread that butter, that butter. I'm trying to spread that butter. When I was in India, the song that we danced to for my friend's wedding was a butter a song. song. There's, there's, there's a part in the song where it goes butter, the butter. Where are they spreading the butter? <laughs> now, butter. instead of using lard, I had butter. And instead of using scallions, I will use rosemary. I'm just Yum. gonna sprinkle that all over. Garlic and rosemary. I'm adding a liberal amount of garlic. Just like I like my garlic butter naans garlicky. I think that's enough garlic. For who? <laughs> no way. I'm rolling mine up. Look at them, roll it up. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. This is weird. <laughs> Something's gotta give. It's such a mess. It's okay, I got you. No, I got it. <laughs> okay. It's just a little harder because you did cut through, so it'll split apart. But once you twist it, you close the gaps. Now that I have it nice and twisted, I will start reverse rolling these guys. Reverse rolling? Yeah. You can do it one at a time. You don't have to do it at the same time. And then, voila, and voila. How, nice. hard, how hard do I press it down? You just, you just leave it and then you have to let it rest. Okay, now it's time for me to roll out my scallion pancake. It's important to dust it so it doesn't stick. See, after it's rested, it's so much easier. If you want something really thin, you can do that. If you want something thick, some places just keep it this thick, but I want an in-between because we are putting filling inside. And then if you overfilled your stuff and stuff comes out, you just dust it. Yep, that was easy. And then we will fry it. Okay, now it's time to fry up the scallion pancake. I rolled it really big. This is American size. Usually I don't want it to have this size, but just gonna make it American size today. Get in touch with our American roots. So we just have to oil it generously because I don't want it to stick. If you want to make it as crispy as possible, you need more oil, hey? Um, yeah, to fry it, you can, you need more oil. So this, because this is a rounded rock, we're just gonna have to... Move it around yeah. at times. But let's just have it firm up. It's too soft right now. Was this dish popular when you were growing up in Taiwan? Oh yeah, this is like one of the more popular street vendors that'll be all over the place. So it hasn't like changed since you were a kid versus now? No. So well, been... nowadays I feel like there's much more meats be and cheese being added in. Yeah, they When like, I was younger, it was less so. It was just like a plain scallion. Yeah, and the meat, the best you would get was maybe the, the ham, the cheap mm. ham. So I've kept it nice 
and moist, and now I shall roll it out. Do you think you'll flip, you can flip this for me later? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I can flip anything. Can you though? I not can, an egg. I could flip you. I didn't no, do that in rugby. Not. Just flip people all the time, that's what you do. Oh, this is good. Okay, can you flip for me? All right, I need two handles. <laughs> Get back in there! Get back in there! How dare you! <laughs> okay, no, just flip it once and leave it! Thank you! Okay, so you know how on this side it's kind of glistening and yeah. how this side it's kind of um, not? Yeah. What you do is you just put a little oil, because I only oiled one side. Uh, but you don't want to overdo it, because then it gets sometimes greasy people, yeah, sometimes yeah. people make like a way too greasy scallion yeah. pancake, and that's just not fun. I'm Brandon, and I'm gonna cook this chicken and incorporate it with sauce. It's really creepy. It's so creepy. Oh, and then straight into the scallion pancake. Well, but after yeah. cooking it, <laughs> okay. let's test the waters. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> We turn down the flame a bit and just use a medium heat and just cook them all the way through. I guess because they're cut into cubes, they'll cook pretty fast. The rest of the food is just the whole chunks. Yeah, and I'm gonna cover it with a lid for a bit, just you know, speed it up. I, I just I want to break some flakes off your scallion pancake. No, so don't bad. do it. So I, I'm not doing it. We are not done cooking yet. Just intrusive do thoughts. Not eat. I fought them all off. You don't understand? These thoughts are like an army in my head. They're always marching. And I'm just like. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's that looks good. good. Okay, yeah. You can chuck in the sauce. I'm gonna turn down the fire. Because remember guys, meat will continue to cook for a bit even after you take it out of the wok. So there's no need to overcook it. When I was in lower school, I remember the kids would say, I want to see your chicken chicken. Because you know, in Chinese, yeah. chicken chicken is chi chi, which means penis. Yes. So it's like, show me your chicken chicken. <laughs> And then what happened? I don't have a chicken chicken. I have a snake snake. <laughs> All right, the sauce is incorporated. I'm gonna pour it in. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Now what I'm gonna do now is sprinkle just a little more sesame on here. It's cause I love my sesame. Oh Lord, it's fine. We're <laughs> following him. You should have brought the whole bag because you're probably going to want to put some on your scallion pancake later. Usually, remember, the chicken's usually fried. Mm. So then it'll be dark and then the sauce is It's a healthy light. version because yeah. we're frying this. Exactly. Okay, now it's the exciting part. I put a lot of oil. Liberal amount of oil. And remember, coat the wok all the way to the tippy top. Nice. That, ooh. ooh, that was... Sorry, I might have put too much. That might be a little too much oh oil. That's a lot of oil. At least we don't need more oil for the other side. Sorry. <laughs> she sabotaged me. <laughs> nice. Looks good. One time I was flipping tortillas. And I flipped it so hard that it went sideways and it just stuck on the wall. <laughs> I was like, oops, and it wasn't my house either. I was like, oh. <laughs> Okay, this is our last egg of our series. Eggs are like a dollar. And you've $2 messed $2. up like four eggs <laughs> this whole week. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Nice and brown, crispy and round. We like it. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna just use that wok and finish mine off too. Damn it! <laughs> it's not hot enough. It's very satisfying, actually. Yeah, it's slowly spreading. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. So now I put the cheese on. The fire's off. It's okay. It's fine, because it's supposed to be the hot residual heat. And then put the ham, and then my soy paste. You need a brush? And just brush it on. Yeah, you need a brush. This is all the flavor. Yeah, you can put chili sauce, you can put whatever you want. We will close it. And the then, lid? Nope, oh, it, so I'm not cooking it anymore. So the residual heat will melt everything. Exactly. This plate. Okay, that's mine. I'll cut it once we're ready to go. Okay. Okay, your turn to plate. The lemon helps to take away the bite of the, the grease, takes away the, the feeling of 
it being too rich. Mm, yeah, it cuts through all the fat. Mm -hmm. So you can take this and eat it to go, <laughs> yes. Mine's just 3D. Yours is, yours is definitely 3D. Okay, we finished our scallion pancakes, him his garlic rosemary pancake, and it's time to eat. Oh, la la. This is gonna be hard to eat. Mmm. This is really good. <laughs> this wow. tastes like a traditional one to me. I just wish I had hot sauce and basil that someone ate all the basil yesterday. It happens. <laughs> I really like the lemons that's added on at the end because that's what it was missing. When I just tried the chicken on its own, I felt like I it wasn't really lemony it. enough for me. Hey, will you? Hey, hey, fork and knife, fork and knife. This is high fine dining. You just <laughs> ate it. <laughs> All right, we'll try yours. Tastes like a classic tung yobing, but your crust is much better. It's uh, thinner, very flaky. Mine, there are parts of it that are very flaky that are separated from the mm -hmm. rest, but on the inside, it's a little mm, too this is thick. good. Yeah, the crust is thick, but the flavoring, I can really taste the rosemary and garlic. Mm -hmm. The lemon chicken is refreshing. I mean, this is the downside of making it too flaky. Yeah, see the top part is wonderful. You hear that? I got crunch. I like mine more today because I can taste scallions and it's flaky. Though I would put more filling and I wouldn't make it this big. This is kind of hard to eat. This is like American. Yeah, style. both of us made it way too big. Yeah, this like, is like, <laughs> it's not meant to be that this big. Is huge. Today we did scallion pancakes. Clarissa taught me how to make it. Clearly, my skills are not up to par. This takes a lot of fine handiwork. As we could tell, I mean, Clarissa's was far superior to mine. With more practice, I think it would be better. Your flavor was spot on, flavor per was usual. Spot on. Yeah. Uh, the lemon works really well with scallion pancakes because it helps to take away from that grease, the, the brightness of it. Once again, another theme. I made it with a Chinese style lemon stir fry chicken, but with garlic and rosemary for the crust of the scallion pancake. And Clarissa made a wonderful traditional style with ham and cheese. It's delicious. I would say today, Clarissa, the champion. My hands are Yay. dirty. Yeah, yeah, you're the champion. Yeah. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to Taiwan Plus. Thanks for watching. Wait, what was that again? Don't forget to subscribe to Did Taiwan Plus. Did you say Taiwan? What? 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 That's what you get when you got these. Slide into his DMs, not my DMs for him. <laughs>